I'm trying to, I don't know, I'm funny. I'm trying to develop like a test, you know, like a system, a funnel, something people can enter into and understand maybe where they are on their spiritual ladder and, you know, what they need to work on and, and grow. And I'm kind of de de developing some questions. One of these questions to, to figure out if you are a baby Christian, which is totally fine. I mean, you're a full Christian if you're a baby Christian, but we're talking about levels of growth. If I was to say to you that if you love Jesus Christ, two things, if you love Jesus Christ, you will hate the world. Now, if I say that to you and you don't understand what I mean, you need a little bit of a lesson on it, but it probably tells me that you haven't got to the point yet where you understand what God means when he says, when you love me, you'll hate the world. Okay, it doesn't mean that you you hate everybody in the world. It's opposite. You love. We love. But what he means is you start to hate the things of the world. You start to really just despise the way that people act in certain things. So that's one of them. Number two, I would ask you, if I was to say to you that if you love Jesus, Jesus said that if you love me, you will eat my flesh and drink my blood. Now, if I say that to you and you're a baby Christian, that's shocking. Oh, you see me by that? Oh. Eat his flesh and drink his blood? Oh my God. <laughs> you have to grow up spiritually to understand that what God is talking about, what Christ is talking about is communion and spiritual food spiritual flesh spiritual blood okay so these are just a couple of of tests that will determine if you're on the far end of the scale like if you just you know just brand new don't really know much or if you're a more mature advanced Christian who understands some of the bigger lessons of the word and the spirit and we'll get more into this because I think this is very helpful and interesting for people to understand that just like physical growth, there's spiritual growth. And the way God communicates all of it with us is by paralleling physical growth. And it helps us to understand. So I hope you all blessed in Jesus name.